G'day everyone. Today we are having a squiz at Forever Skies. Forever Skies is on the next fest. Uh, the October next next fest. The demo is. Uh, it is an early access game. Um, it's it. Well, it's going to go into early access. Um, the plan release date is in 2022, so you can wishlist and follow it. You can also download the demo. The link will be below. Forever Skies is a first-person action survival game. Return to Earth, destroyed by an H... Uh, let's start again. Return to Earth, destroyed by an ecological disaster. Fly a high-tech airship, expand, rebuild, and repair it. Scavenge resources to survive. Face the dangers of the surface as you will hunt for viral pathogens to cure a mysterious illness. It's developed and published by Far From Home. Let's get stuck straight into it and uh, play a game. All right. There will be no other end of the world. A song on the end of the world. I'm recording. All right, here we are. Okay, it seems like the mouse sensitivity needs to be uh, adjusted, so I'm just going to adjust that. Controls, controller type, sensitivity is at about 50. I'm going to drop it down to 20 and see how that goes because it does feel very, very tight. All right, let's uh, read this. There we go. Broken signal. Sagittarius 2 went silent for months. Then this one signal and silence again. None of us know what awaits you there, but if there is a chance that they have found the virus, then maybe we can survive. Find the virus sample at all costs. The fate of us all depends on you. The Ark. Okay, we've got an inventory. We've got a to-do list. We've got blueprints. Food. Electric cooker, insect catcher, insect lure. Maybe we eat insects. Uh, tools, deck extractor, build tool, interior, a bed, and recycling metals and synthetics. Okay, cool. It still feels, it still feels really... There we go, we'll blow that off. Now, is there anything else we can get here? It still feels very, very, very fast on the old controls, so I'm going to drop it down to about 10%. Okay, I've also changed my settings to uh, V-Sync was off. Uh, however, I turned it on, and it feels like I'm not getting as many broken frames as what I was. So, wow, the game looks absolutely beautiful for now. So we've crashed on Earth by the looks of it. I don't want to fall down anything. Probably fall down that hole. What's going on? What's all this stuff? It's like moss and stuff floating through the air. Looks good. Looks good. Health parameters low. Check the database for details. Health parameters low. Hold tab to see more. Uh, satisfy your hunger. Okay, well, I'll satisfy my hunger. No worries. Uh, metal debris. Nice. Synthetic debris, metal debris, metal debris. So there's a lot of stuff in here. Can we look in that chest? No, we can't. Uh, we're going to need some food. We're going to need to find ourselves some food somehow. Uh, we're going to collect all of this stuff while we go as well. Because we are going to be able to make stuff out of this. Use the computer. Take the scanner. Oh, awesome, we've got a scanner. Uh, take metal debris. And there's a canned water. Okay. Uh, it's all gone to hell. Everything's been screwed up since we found that damn virus. We're all getting sick. Equipment is breaking down. And then there's this Noah situation. The power blew out again and the door is locked. I'll check if the beacon tower has a compatible battery. Uh, 
Uh, synthetic debris. We're looking for food. We need food. There's nothing in there. Uh, I like how I like how the scanner scans stuff. Can we do anything with it? No, we can't do anything other than it scans stuff. So, uh, what's up there? Can we get those? No. There's helmets up there though. All right. Doesn't look like there's anything else. Oh, what's that? Ah, oh, you can scan stuff. A uh, metal component requires an extractor. Uh, structural metal components used to build made at low, low cost, allowing for easy construction at higher elevations. Okay. So there is stuff that we can scan with our scanner. Can't really see the ground, can we? kind of up in the clouds aren't we there's a beacon over there that might be where we're going take metal debris can we actually use that uh, satisfy your power power the computer and satisfy your hunger okay lost expedition there's some metal debris uh, so it looks like we're going to have to try and get a a solid state battery from somewhere to be able to power that up. Okay, I still don't, like we don't have any food in our inventory, do we? We've got metal debris, we've got synthetic debris, and we've got uh, water which gives us plus 25 water, which is uh, no good to us at the moment to be honest. I mean, we, we, are, we are getting thirsty, but we kind of need... Okay, it looks like that's all locked. But we kind of need food, don't we? Was there any food back where we crashed or where we started from? There might be. Can we, uh, to-do list? Uh, yep, satisfy your hunger and blueprints. Uh, tools? Build tool. Deck extractor, synthetics and metals recycling. Okay, food, uh, electronic cooker, insect catcher, and insect lure. So we can't do anything with that at the moment either. Uh, okay, well, we're kind of. Uh, that's just synthetic debris again. Can we go up here? There we go. We can go up here as well. A uh, glass component, uh, structural glass components used to build uh, to withstand atmospheric conditions. The glass was reinforced. It was difficult to create and that's quite rare. Got some... Oh, there we go. There's some food. Let's consume that. There we go. Let's take that. Let's take that. Don't think there's any more here. Uh, nope. I'm just going to grab these while we're here. Uh, didn't really actually give us much to uh, much satiation, did it? So let's scan this dude. Uh, navigator's body lost expedition. His mission was to map out directions and find resources, even this far from home. He's been dead for nearly two months. The decomposition process was slowed by climatic conditions. Okay, we can't loot him. Got uh, glass components there again. Open that up and take that solid state battery. That might help us a lot. And we may need to uh, we may need to consume those. Let's use that. Let's use that, and let's eat that as well, and we'll have a drink of water as well. Alright, so cure photophobia virus. Alright, well, what we need to do now is we need to get back down here. I don't think there was anything else here we could do. Doesn't look like it. Let's get down and see if we can power up this computer. Insert solid state drive. Should be able to use the computer now. 
All right, Noah went crazy. The bastard stole the sample and our airship the radio doesn't work. That's probably his doing too. We're stuck here, we're sick and, and can't work. If we had known about what awaits beneath the dust, we would never have gone. For whoever reads this, find Noah. He's doodling these signs everywhere. Easy to spot. Be careful. He's dangerous as all hell. Broken signal. Sagittarius 2 went silent for months. There's one signal and silence again. None of us know what awaits you there, but if there's a chance that they've found the virus, then maybe we can survive. It's all gone to hell. Everything's been screwed up since we found that damn virus, yet we've already read that. Uh, objects, metal components, structural metal components, uh, made at low cost, allowing for easy. Yep, we've read that. Virus is okay, so this is this is all. Uh, cure the virus to fill the medicine list. Okay. Resources, technical, metals, glass. We need to work out how we do a. Oh, no. In there as well. Health parameters. There we go. There's our health parameters. Okay, so everything there has been read. Our to do list now is find the source of lesson and then find the cure. Okay, how do we get out of here? That's the question. Can we can we go through here now? Yes, we can. Oh, there's another dead body over there. Let's grab that. Okay, metal debris. I don't know why we needed to scan that. There's more metal debris. Let's open that up. First aid kit is good. Let's scan this dude. Biologist's body. Uh, tablet. Uh, it's all because of this damn dust. Noah heard voices. He was mumbling about nature surviving everything, even the fall of the world. Okay. It looks like Noah's going crazy. Noah's going bloody crazy. Take food. Beautiful. And we'll take that as well. Get everything that we... Can we scan that from here? We can. Metal scaffolding. So we need to work out how we do, how we do an, how we get ourselves an, an extractor, so we can start extracting all of these metal things. I also wanted to actually, I also wanted to uh, go into blueprints and recycling, and see what happens there. A basic resource for manufacturing equipment, the main component in mechanical parts. So we can't really do anything with that at the moment. Okay, can we grab this? We can't grab that. We can scan that though. A synthetic cask, container with a breached termetic seal. It was once used to store li liquids. It's possible to recover some resources from it. Okay, we can't do anything with that. We can grab that metal debris. Oh crap. Finish building the airship. I accidentally picked something up and now I can't do anything with it. Ah, uh, because oh, we're, we're holding it. Uh, airship to-do list. Install rudder, repair the fabricator, place the fabricator. Uh, yeah, this is just going to be really annoying, all of this, uh, all of this database information. Okay, so we've got some more there. We can't pick those up either. Maybe they're fuel of some sort. Take that, we'll take that. We'll take that metal debris and that and that as well. Okay, so we need to get in there and get some more components. Is this, this must be our airship. Okay. Well, the, the start of our airship, anyway. Uh, what do we do with that? Don't know what it is. But I'm going to put it there. Uh, oh, it's a fabricator. Okay, got it. Water purifier. Synthetics and metals, we do have a load of shit though, don't we? Electric cooker, insect catcher, insect lure, so I'm wondering if that's... So it's saying we've got no synthetics and no metals. 
Ah, because we've got to recycle from here. There we go. Alright, that makes sense. Take metals. Use the fabricator. We don't have enough of that, so... Alright, lovely. Uh, control ship. So this is... Wow. This is going to be pretty impressive. Alright, I'm going to go and find a whole pile of components for this stuff, guys. And uh, I will see you soon. That requires dirty water. I mean, requires a container. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get this airship going so that you guys can see this airship. And there's an empty bottle. And there. Okay, so we've got one dirty water. Uh, pho Photophobia virus is wearing us out. We've almost, yep. Oh, yeah. There'll be a lot of reading and a lot of information here. Uh, have we got anything in there? Take first aid kit. Take old food ration. Scan that. That's a destroyed virus computer. Okay, we can't use that, but we can take that. We can take that. Find out what that synthetic debris is. We do need more synthetic debris. Let's see if we can get through here. Okay. Got another body here. It's a shame we can't loot them, isn't it? Engineer's body in charge of operating, maintaining equipment. And we've got some more f food here by the looks of it. Can't reach that one. Can we get over here? Yep. Looks like we can probably eat this stuff. Lobster. Was that lobster? Lobster chili. Don't want to fall down there, but we want to grab that. And we want to grab that as well. Can't grab those yet. Because it requires an extractor. So we need to work out how we can make an extractor. Which we probably can down, uh, down below. Okay, looks like we can make ourselves a deck extractor there by the looks of it bed uh, a, an electric cooker we need to make some purified water so we've got condensed membrane water purifier so we need 10 synthetics for that but I think what we need is we need to make that it should be good Printing completed. Let's take the oh it's a deck one. Okay, so how do we use that? Oh, it's gotta be on the airship. Was that a waste of time? Use deck extractor. Oh, okay, so we can do it like that. The virus hurts you when you look at the sun. Oh, I looked at the sun. Okay, so the inventory's full now. Don't look at the sun. Uh, sleep at night. Synthetics. Let's do some recycling. We don't have enough recycling. We do need to fix our health, so I think I'm going to use one of those. And a first aid kit refill. Oh, what's happening here? Our blood, our virus. Okay. Let's eat that. Oh, shit. We've got the virus bad now. Nope, that's water. Okay, let's drink that. Let's drink that. I thought that was the virus down the bottom there. Okay, let's uh, use this again. And let's... Get these resources. Synthetics. Okay, so we're getting synthetics out of that. That's good. It's going to help us a lot going to allow us to build a whole pile of stuff. Jeez, we're getting thirsty pretty quick, to be honest. I wonder how quickly these plants regrow. I mean, we've got plenty of water there, but uh, we need to do a water purifier. 
So we need to get as much stuff as we possibly can with that, which will be synthetics and metal, I think. Ooh, that gave us 38 synthetics. Okay, let's get out of there. Let's go back in here and see if we can make ourselves... Uh, let's go back into recycling. Well, we don't have... Where, where did all those synthetics that we... Oh, that's synthetic debris. Okay, so... Alright, cool. So what we need to do now is we need to make a... A water conde a water purifier. Let's make a water purifier and get that on our ship here. Oh, it's taken a while to make it. Okay, cool. Awesome. So we can get lots of synthetic stuff from there. Okay, water purifier is there. Let's whack that there, and let's put dirty water in, and it will uh, it will create clean water. Beautiful. Bottle clean water, and we need to make ourselves some bottles. Let's grab one of those. Printing completed. There we go, and uh, we should be able to, we should have clean water, yeah we do. Let's drink that. That was only five, so let's go and fill it up again. Although there's not going to be much here, is there? Let's put dirty water in there. Let's grab that and put some more dirty water in there. That's uh. There we go. We'll go and grab some uh, more dirty water. There we go. Grab some dirty water out of there. Fill that up. There we go. Okay, so that's relatively full now. Beautiful. Alright, uh, what do we need to do now? We need to... Well, we've got a deconstructor, but can we can we do a deconstructor on... So we've got a uh, condenser membrane. Filters large particles of contaminants and it wears out quickly. And a water condenser condenses water from the air, unable to eliminate all contaminants. So we may be better off building one of those at some point. Uh, insect catcher. Uh, a lightweight lift converted into a device to catch insects flying in the dust. Okay. Bed. Build tool. And recycle stuff. Okay, beautiful. Wow, you can get stuff from all the way over there as well. That's pretty cool. Oh. <gasps> Oh shit, the building's... Oh, the building moved. <laughs> okay, then we can get in here now and we can have a look at this. Um, let's take that. Let's take that. Yeah, I think the... You know, I'm... I understand the whole survival aspect. I really do. But, I think... I think that, um, again, like all survival games, they're, they're overdoing the, uh, the water. They're way overdoing the water. Like, the water's just going down so quickly. Take data card, take metal debris, take that, scan that. Uh, disassembled engine, no longer usable. I don't know why they, why when they when they build uh, when they build um, when they create survival games, why they overdo the, the the whole food situation so badly, like they really really do. Um, we can't get that. Like I think, I, th I think sometimes they just they just overdo it, and it's just, well, you know, like you're just constantly, constantly struggling to uh, to find food and water and all of that type of stuff. And I think that needs to be um, those those balances need to be made. You know, like you need to find a good balance on 
enjoyable gameplay or just continually looking for water. And at the moment, it seems more like we're trying to kind of look for water. So uh, build the engine. We need to work out how to build the engine for our uh, for our airship. Okay, cooking station. Water slot. Oil. Okay, so you need a little bit of water for that as well. Interesting. Okay, what can we do? What can we do in here? Aha! Engine. Because we've scanned an engine, we need... Uh, we need more synthetics so that we can get the engine. Take boiled pepper. Lovely. And bottle clean water. And then we're going to have to get some dirty water as well. Uh, we need some more synthetics, so we're going to have to grab some. Right there. Perfect. There's got to be some more coming in. Here we go. There's some more. And we'll grab this one on the way past as well. Got that. So that's given us quite a few synthetics now. I don't think there's anything else that we can uh, that we can grab here. So, all right, let's build ourselves an engine. Uh, engine. There we go. And then we're going to need synthetic fuel. Where do we put the end? Oh, okay. So that's like. Oh, yep. Got it. Got it. So that's like a balloon up there for our airship. Oh. <gasps> Seems there's going to be so much potential in this. So much potential. I need to go up and try and get the rest of that water. While we're waiting. Because we're going to need all of that water. It requires a bottle. Ah, oh, did I not remove that other bottle? I didn't. And we'll eat one of those. Is that bottle all of it? It's only bottle two. Printing completed. There we go. Lovely. Okay, the printing's completed on that. Let's get that if we can. Okay. Our bottle must be full. Is there any full damage? Probably not. Okay, so we're going to throw some dirty water in here. And I'm just going to go in there and I'm going to grab that out again. And we're going to take the engine. Cannot place. Place on the airship. There's a place up there somewhere. Ah, okay, right. Got it. We place it right in the middle. There we go, lovely. Refuel the engine. So we need uh, to make synthetic fuel. We obviously need synthetics. Perfect, let's grab ourselves some thin synthetics. At least you can get stuff from a long way away. Pretty happy about that. Got this big one coming in here. Gotcha. And this fella's coming in. No, he's blown away. Need to try and... Aha. Gotcha. Got you as well. Got you as well. Okay, so that's given us lots of synthetics. That's good. And this laser works from quite a distance. So, okay, let's uh, let's make ourselves some fuel. Uh, one should be all right. And we've got enough synthetics. We've got enough synthetics. Uh, refuel the engine. Do we refuel over there? We do. Okay, lovely. Depart from the location. Let's do it. Let's close this door and get out of here. All right, we're controlling the airship now. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Return to planet Earth. Okay, so what we need to do now... Uh, 
demo is going to run out. Welcome to Forever Skies. Now you're flying into the dust wastelands. In this sandbox, you will visit new locations, investigate light sources, collect resources, and expand your airship. The gameplay has a time limit display in the corner of the screen. From this point on, the save system works. You can interrupt the game at any time and continue later. Support the development wish list. Uh, I've got to say, when I first when I first started this, I was a little bit like, meh, meh. Don't know, you know. Uh, and uh, and now I just thought, yeah, just another survival game. And now I'm actually I'm actually a little bit hooked. I'm actually a little bit hooked. Let's get out of there and see if we can uh, head out here and use this and grab some some more of this stuff, which we can. I can't wait to I can't wait to play the full game and uh, and to be building up a really 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 cool airship. Gotcha. Gotcha. At least there's going to be plenty of fuel around. At least there is at the moment. Let's get him now. You got to remember, you got to remember when you uh, when you pull those little beams and stuff off. Um, you got to be really, really, really careful. Cause printing completed. There we go. We could probably build ourselves another engine as well to speed us up a bit, but. At the moment, I'm not really concerned about that. Uh, can we build some sort of storage? Well, we can build a bed. We can build the deck extractor, the engine and the synthetic fuel. We can recycle those metals, which will be good. Printing completed. Inventory is full. Um, bugger. Bugger. Uh, let's eat one of the... Oh, that was... Ro oh, shit, that was rotten food. That's no good. Have we got any decent food? We've got glass. Can we get some clean water out of there? Okay. Um, let's take those metals. I think we need to try and get down to our engine and refuel. And you can actually turn the engine off as well. <gasps> that's good. Save a load of fuel. Uh, so if that's rotten... Can we... Oh, shit. I, can we, like, delete that? Is there some way in our inventory to be able to delete that stuff? Uh, just drop it on the floor, I guess. What's that? Old food ration. Let's eat it. We're going to need to go and find ourselves some uh, some more food, I think. What I wanted to do, though, I wanted to grab these. Yeah, so these buildings, you got to be really careful. These buildings will fall down. They're being supported by that, and I'm guessing that uh, when they fall down... They can destroy your ship as well. <laughs> Which we don't want. Alright, let's go and find ourselves somewhere else to dock, shall we? Close the door. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in love. I'm in love with this game and I'm in love with the whole idea of... of being able to do this. Look, it's showing where our wind is and stuff as well. You can see that there's a uh, wind and it's got our heading down there. It's got our fuel indicator. And at least if we run out of fuel, there's, a, there's something over there and there's something over here. There's a beacon over here. I want to get over there. What are they? Are they butterflies? They are. Just a whole bunch of flutterbys. Can we eat flutterbys? Let's have a look. No, it doesn't look like it. it. Looks like we need to get ourselves a bug catcher. 
We can make a bug catcher, can't we? Uh, where are we? In here. Uh, food. There we go. Insect catcher and an insect lure. Let's make one of those. How's our inventory going? Pretty good. Because we're going to need food. I'm guessing insects. I'm guessing insects are going to be a form of food. And if we're really close to these insects, we probably want to eat something. Come on. Let's put him out there. Like that. Uh, I'm just going to turn the engine off. Because we don't want to be using our fuel. The other thing that we want to make is an insect lure. Tracks insects flying in the dust with light and paralyze them for a while. We'll see how this goes. Printing completed. Okay. Uh, how do we use the insect lure? Put it in there. No. Okay. Don't know how to use that. Ah, add lure. There we go. Okay, lovely. Let's see if we can uh, gather ourselves some insects and probably eat those, I reckon. In the meantime, we're going to need to head more towards that beacon, one of these beacons over here, which is what I want to do. I think we were drifting. I uh, didn't turn the engine on, did I? No, you didn't turn the engine on. There we go, that's a little bit better. I wonder whether you can get do side thrusters and stuff on here as well. There we go, now we're getting a little bit of movement. We're going to head over there. Looking super forward to seeing how big you can build this. We've only got like 13 minutes left anyway in the uh, in the demo. And I think I'm going to, for this first look, I think I'm going to play that out. So... Just want to head over here and see if we if, if there's any way to dock or anything over here and we want to see what this insect catch is going to do as well whether it's going to catch anything but i reckon where these beacons are might be places that we can land maybe and i don't think oh we can change altitude as well <gasps> okay okay which means we could probably let's see shift will increase our altitude decrease our altitude see we might be able to land down here I reckon oh this is just going to be so awesome I'm loving it already I love the whole concept of it and I love the fact that that it's uh, first person-ish or not first person if but like I love the fact that it is that you can play it in first person Let's see if we can get this landed on here. There we go. I don't know what that... Is that some sort of... Expand the airship and build the tool. Let me see if I can land this on here. Doesn't look like I can. It won't let me. It won't let me drop. Do we need thrusters or something on here? Maybe we do. We got any insects in here? Ah, you've got a lower... Okay, yep, got it. Uh, okay. So, for so it won't let me... It won't let me drop down. I don't know why. Um, bed. Deck extractor. More synthetic fuel. Synthetics we can make. That's no worries. Alright, let's keep moving. Printing completed. Let's grab those synthetics there. 
I'm just wondering whether... It, ah, there we go. Now it let me land. Whew. I don't know what was going on there. Let's go and turn the engine off. I'll have a quick squeeze down here. There we go. Let's see what we can find here. Maybe some food. Maybe something to eat. Something to drink. Like a little bit more dirty water maybe. Uh, what have we got in there? Let's take the solid state battery. We may need it. Can't take those. Uh, there's nothing else here. So let's head down. I don't know why it wouldn't let me land before. Maybe you need to be moving forward to drop. Uh, because we also need to... We're also going to need to... Um, probably... Can we, get a, can we walk down here? There we go. We do have... Oh... Clean water. There we go. Excellent. Excellent! Uh, how are we getting in there? Through here. Ah! Oh, old canned water. There's nothing there. There's a data card there. New blueprint. Turbine. Take poster. Join project oxygen. Ah, oh, place on airship. Lovely. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, calorie level is decreasing. Let's stick this inside somewhere on the wall, shall we? There we go. Right there. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna I actually this is gonna be really, really cool. Oh, uh, here comes rain. I don't know whether rain's of any detriment to us or not. I'm not sure. Is there anything in there? There's nothing in there. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything else on here. Ah, there's a fruit that we missed. Oh, hang on, there's another one there and another one there. Our inventory is full, but they should be alright to eat. Plus 15 food and plus 15 food. Let's take that one as well. Alright, so at least we know we can get food out here somewhere. Oh, come on, can we get that or not? Yep, got it. Alright, let's get back into our ship and see if we can get out of here. We'll uh, get some more water processing as well. Now, there is another area somewhere. I think there was a... Was there a down? Yeah, there was a down here. Maybe we should check that out before we go as well. We don't want to sort of miss out on anything, so. Uh, we could probably actually have another drink of water and eat another one of those. Grab that. data card there which gives us a blueprint for a desk and a small storage box yes that's what we want small storage box that is good that's a bonus okay lovely I'm glad that we came down here metal debris metal debris is there any more uh, fruits on here doesn't look like it all right let's get out of here Let's get out of here now. It says to fly above the dust. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, before we leave, before we finish up and our, and our time runs out, um, let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can fly above the debris and let's also try out bug fishing. Okay. Oh, didn't turn the engine on. Got to remember to turn the engine on. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Let's close that. Get into there. Can we go straight up? Yes, we can. Alright, so it's asking us to... Oh, shit. Looking at the sun. We're not supposed to look at the sun. 
saying to fly above the dust. How do we fly above the dust? Ah, to lock speed. Ah, to lock speed and see if we can go up. It's kind of not letting us go up really, is it? But there's a massive building over there as well. That's a huge, huge building. Probably be a lot of resources on that. I wonder whether we can pull up next to... I wonder whether we can pull up next to uh, some of these and actually jump off onto them. Oh, that's what we were going to do. Let's lower the lure. Oh, so that's going down into the dust. unlock that. Yep. A little bit worried about that. Okay, it looks like we've got ourselves a pile of... <gasps> Dawn Moth. Okay, good fishing. Good fishing. Interesting fishing. So as soon as that happens, can we... Can we... Cook this Dawn Moth? Where, where, the, where, where is it? There. Let's throw that in there. And let's throw a little bit of water in there and boil that. Okay, there's another one. Okay, the other thing is that we can actually build ourselves a small storage box now. Which is good. Let's consume the boiled moth. Why not? There we go. Clean water times four. We have three minutes left. Let's scan that. Can we scan it or not? Yes, we can. Okay, moth swarm. All right, lovely. Let's grab that small storage and we'll throw that over here if we can. Can we find a spot in there? There we go. Open that up and... What can we throw in there? Just a little bit of food because we know where our food is. It is very small, the storage though, isn't it? And we'll throw a med kit in there as well. Okay, lovely. Oh no, let's bring the lure back up. And close that. Alright. Oh wow, this is really hard to see. Really, really hard to see. Well, this is it guys. I love it. I love it. I really... Looks like we got ourselves another moth. Um, I, I wish. I really wish. Okay, the lure's, lure's been done now. Oh, I wish I could be playing it for longer. Uh, this is definitely going on my wish list. And there's definitely a series coming out of this because, uh, yeah, this is pretty amazing. I wonder whether we can, at some point in time, make, um, make ourselves lights and stuff like that uh let's see there's there's the desk and what else was on here a turbine um enhances maximum flight altitude damn we're gonna miss out aren't we fly above the dust build the turbine we've got one minute 25 left <laughs> let's see if we can get above the dust in one minute and 18 seconds 17 16 15, how long are you going to take? 12, 10, 9, 8. <laughs> We've got one minute to go. One minute to go. Bugger. It's going to take too long, isn't it? I wish I had to build that just before. It's nearly done, but we've only got 50 se 55 seconds left, so. Can you be quick, Simmy? How quick can you be, buddy? 45, 43, 42, 41, take the turbine, open the door, throw a turbine on the side of the ship, 
Can't figure out how to put it on the side of the ship. Throw that in there. Let's see if we can get above the dust, quick. Up we go, up we go, up we go. Come on, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, and we are above. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. All right, we're going to run out of time. We've got 10 seconds left, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget there'll be a link for this one below if you want to check it out. Um, wow. I'm impressed so far. I am super impressed. Don't forget to hit like. 